Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be looking at making holes in thick ceramic containers. Yes, I know I've done this video earlier but a lot of you wanted to see it planted. So in this video the holes will be made and a plant will adorn this. So I'm using the Snow Queen Pothos and will also touch upon some care tips towards the end. Now I'm just using a drill bit like this and a hammer. You can use a big nail or a screwdriver as shown in the video above. Now remember you need a thick towel or in this case I am using a thick door mat. This is because the mat will cushion the lower part of the container from the blows of the hammer thereby avoiding any breakage. Now since this already has a sticker like this I will not use a duct tape but if you don't have a sticker then you will have to use a duct tape or an insulation tape so that the nail finds a solid non-slippery surface to strike. Otherwise, the jar will break. Adding water with a cloth like this between intervals will help. Now slowly hammer away till you see the nail penetrate the surface of the ceramic. And after just a few seconds, you will see a hole in your favorite ceramic jar. Now from here, you can make the hole bigger or leave it as is. The inner part will almost always break, but it's okay. You will anyway cover it all up with soil. So I don't consider that to be a major issue. So you can see how thick this ceramic jar was that my friend gifted me from Serbia. So you can try this with your costly china as well if you want. A lot of you have found success and some of you haven't and that's part of life. For some it may work and for some it may not. So if you're confident enough, please go ahead with this easy and relatively safe method of making holes and get yourself a ceramic planter that will let your plants breathe. Please use a protective eye gear to prevent parts of the ceramic from reaching your precious eyes. Now I will be planting this Snow Queen Pothos in this container and I will tell you the best potting mix you can use for pothos and philodendrons. Here I have to thank Ankit for this information. So as usual I am using the concave portion of this broken pot piece to cover the hole so that the soil is retained and the water drains out well. So the potting mix I am using here is 40% cocoa bark or cocoa chip, 30% sand and 30% compost. These plants love organic matter by the way and the cocoa bark improves soil aeration and helps the plant grow better. I would avoid using garden soil as much as I can. Now add the potting mix into the container up to a level and remove the plant from its existing container and check its roots and if it is pot bound then tease the roots a little. After adding the plant in its new home, drape it with some potting medium. After this, water the plant. Since there has been continuous rain in Bangalore, I am using some good old rain water. Let's now quickly look at some important variegated pothos care tips. Now place these heavily variegated pothos near a bright location. The southwest direction being ideal because more the sun, more the variegations. But if you see signs of leaf burn, then that means it is getting too much sun. So use a sheer curtain to reduce the intensity of the light or move it away from the window. Water once the soil goes dry and may be fertilized with compost once in three months when indoors and once every month when outdoors. To give this a more controlled look, you can prune off any growth that upsets this compact look. And instead of throwing it away, you can water or soil propagate the cutting. Soil medium, like I told you earlier, must be well draining and you can use the same mix as shown before. Remember, well draining is the key regardless of what mix you use. So these are some of the few quick tips to grow carefree and beautiful pothos that will enchant your gardening heart for years to come. So with this, we have come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I really hope you've enjoyed this program. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.